Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rentway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 10th, 2023. Well, yesterday turned out to be another just kind of sideways chop, hurry up and wait kind of day with a pending CPI coming yet this morning that could potentially move us pretty substantially in the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. You know, looking at the charts this morning, um, you've got to kind of understand looking at this that everything could change very quickly when the cpi number comes out this morning so you know it's hard to um it's hard to really envision what we might look at like um just um a little bit down the road here in uh, before the market opens but let's take a look at these charts and see if we can look at some of the support and resistance levels if the bulls or bears are inspired now one of the things because we are so coiled up and what i mean coiled up is if you look at a 15 minute chart the last couple of days we are just coiling up like a rattlesnake waiting to strike one way or another in the market and um, it's impossible to to know which way that might go because of the numbers that are pending so if we get a number that inspires the bulls then let's look for a retest up here first there's a little bit of price resistance right in there as you can see if um, if we gap bigger than that there is that possibility that we could move right up into here at that next level of resistance and by the way i could not rule out the possibility with a um, a good cpi number meaning a weak cpi number that uh, meaning that the fed is done raising rates that we could even surge so hard as to maybe test this resistance up here in the chart now on the other hand if the number disappoints and the bears are inspired well let's keep in mind we have a price support level right in here we've been stuck in this chop range that we could quickly and easily gap through so there's our first level of resistance our second level of resistance in the chart I think is back down there toward that 200 day moving average so if we are 500 or excuse me 50 day moving average so if we fail this price support in here then I think there is that possibility that we could move on down to retest that 50 of course if that were to fail then we're starting to look lower close to that 200 day moving average which obviously would be a very painful um, situation for the market if that were to occur now let's take a look at our spy spy very similar in um, in the move except spy is more center of the range uh, in here so if we get a good bullish number that moves the market to the upside let's look for a retest of some of this resistance right in here that last high push on higher and then even the ultimate test or possible breakout of the big resistance level that we've been dealing with for more than a month on the other hand bears inspired well let's look um, we've got a little tiny bit and it is a little tiny bit of possible price support right through here that can hold us if the bears are inspired if that doesn't work well we're probably coming down into here or even all the way down to retest this double bottom here in the SPY and of course that is very very close to the 50-day moving average and that would be a possible test on a real ugly number in the market let's take a look at our QQQ now the Nasdaq has been the strongest of the indexes so on a bullish move on a bullish number I think the Nasdaq has the best opportunity to break this resistance to the upside and really rip so if we were to pop through this resistance to the upside here today then I would look for the next stretch right up into here on the QQQ so keep an eye on that 
And if the bears um, have something to grab a hold of here, well, this is where it could get a little bit weird in the market because we've been counting on the NASDAQ holding this upside trend. And you could see pretty easily if the bears were inspired and if we break that support level right there, that we're gonna be drifting back down below that trend and then that possible test of this price range here in the chart and that potential support level. If that were to give up, then I think we could have a very different market really quickly. We might catch an air pocket underneath here um, if that were the case. So watch carefully for that if those bears are inspired. And then if we look at IWM, well, IWM remains the weakest of the indexes, although it did try to rally yesterday. Here again, bulls inspired. Let's look for a retest of this downtrend resistance area in the chart right in here. And if we are really inspired to the upside, maybe we could finally push through there and push through this resistance level in the chart and try to get up here, maybe hold for that bullish run to the upside. If those bears are inspired, well, uh, I think about the only thing we've got to hold us in here right now is that prior low, this resistance um, support level here in the chart, which we failed last week, and that possibility that we could be down here if that fails uh, for another retest of that low. Now, looking at our moving averages here, you can see there's really nothing under us but price. And uh, unfortunately, all of our moving averages above are very bearish at the moment, putting kind of a, um, a moving average squeeze to the downside as a possibility in the Russell. So keep a close eye on that. Now let's take a look at our VIX real quick. And our VIX um, yesterday rallied just a little tiny bit, but honestly just kind of acted like nobody cared what was happening. It was just a hurry up and wait kind of day. So if we find the bulls be inspired today, then I would look for a retest of these um, areas here in the chart, some of these support areas maybe even down through there, if we can get a good bullish inspiration number in uh, in that CPI. If the market reacts negatively to that CPI number, then, well, you can see them. We've got resistance levels in this area that we would look to test and maybe breach. And if we breach above that, then I would be looking up in here for, um, it would be a pretty um, painful spike in the VIX, but I think it is certainly possible with the way we're coiled up this morning waiting on that data. If we take a look at our T2122, well, our T2122 um, obviously kind of stuck in the middle. <laughs> we, we were dancing around here uh, around the 50% 50, 50 area of T2122 a good portion of the day yesterday. So what that means is, is we've got about a 50-50 chance of a big move to the upside or a big move to the downside with that CPI. So we're not getting, we have no idea which way the market's going to go here based on that data. So all we can do is sit back and prepare for the reaction when that data is revealed. And if we take a look at our T2107, well, T2107 just drifted south yesterday. We're continuing to struggle in here with this downtrend in the chart. We still have that concern of this head and shoulders pattern in the chart, but it's not terrible yet because we're holding above some support areas in T2127, kind of hanging in there, and we still are trapped below a resistance level as well. So percentage of stocks holding above the 200 day around 40%. Kind of tough to build a big bullish case here, but it's also kind of tough to build a bearish case. It's just that uncertainty that we're dealing with in the market. Our T2108, T2108 also just kind of stuck. A little bit of pullback yesterday. You can see 43, 44% of the stocks above their 40 day moving average. Kind of trapped between a support level, a resistance area in the chart. Um, we're just pensive. We're waiting to find out what comes next. Where's that next shoe um, gonna fall? Is it gonna is it gonna be kicked to the upside or is it gonna land on our head and, and move us lower? Um, if we take a look at 
T2101. Our T2101 also not giving us probably the best of data, um, showing us that that momentum is kind of dying on the vine here. Um, not a big surprise since we went almost dead flat sideways for the last two days. That momentum is not helping us out here on uh, the market breadth. If we take a look at our economic calendar for today, well, our economic calendar, we've got kind of what I've been talking about all morning. We've got um, CPI number here today. Now our mortgage applications came in this morning a little bit better, um, kind of surging to the upside with the hope that the Fed will be ending their um, rate rising cycle. But now, then we've got a, a CPI number that could change that sentiment really, really quickly. Right now, CPI con uh, consensus is looking for tiny, tiny improvements on the CPI. So um, it, it easily could miss and that could disappoint the market. So watch that one closely here this morning. Um, and then we've got petroleum status. By the way, the Atlanta Fed... Uh, business inflation expectations not likely to move the market kind of like the NFIB number yesterday but the NFIB number came in at a horrible low um, small business is not optimistic about the future and that might uh, mean that inflation expectations aren't all that optimistic as well um, petroleum status will be coming next we've got a four and a ten year note auction bonds are holding up today um, short end of the curve maybe edging just a little bit higher this morning as we wait on that cpi then we've got a treasury statement at 2 p.m. So kind of keep an eye on that. As we move forward, well, we're gonna move right into a jobless claims and a PPI report tomorrow with natural gas, some bond auctions in there and a Fed balance sheet at the end of the day. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar and once again um, too many earnings for me to cover today I'll run through a couple really quickly um, that you may want to be paying attention to for today um, we've got Beyond Meat that we'll be reporting today this has just been in an ugly ugly uh, downtrend here on Beyond Meat um, we've got Cake We'll be reporting today. We're going to hear from Disney later on this afternoon. You might want to pay attention to that. It recently broke this resistance, trying to hold some support. We've got uh, Jazz. Whoops, got to type the right symbol. Uh, Jazz Pharmaceutical reporting today. We're going to hear from Robin Hood. We're going to hear from Tupperware. And we're going to hear from Wolverine today. So kind of keep an eye on some of those reports um, for this morning. Now, keep in mind that if you want to catch the full list of notables, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list. Let's take a look um, at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could also do me that favor, leaving that brief comment, that helps a, a bunch. Sharing that video out on your social media feed also helps in contacting more folks. And if you um, click those thumbs up buttons and leave that brief comment it, it, with um, uh, other comments in the video, it also helps with the engagement and brings more uh, views to the video. So thank you so much who, uh, for those of you who take the time to do that. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these charts. And remember, um, this they are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Make sure you're doing your own due diligence, making sure you're following your current 
your trading plans, your risk tolerances, and never ever blindly follow someone else's trade ideas. So first off, let's take a look at some of the things that are working and um, kind of surprisingly working. Uh, defensive sector stocks have just been on this tear to the upside and they're not giving up. As you can see, Hershey breaking out all time highs here on Hershey and a beautiful little consolidation after this sharp move to the upside resting over toward trend. I would keep an eye on this if that can continue to move this way we would look for that next opportunity to the upside on Hershey take a look at Walmart Walmart been stretching out here to the upside keep an eye on that now one thing about Walmart is it's going to be reporting on 518 so you got to be a little bit careful with this but notice in Walmart we're starting to press this resistance in that possible breakout to the upside so keep an eye on that this may have more upside opportunity in it I would watch closely take a look at stocks like um, Schmuckers um, another defensive sector stock little cup and handle pattern showing up here in this chart watch carefully um, schmuckers another um, old boring dividend payer may have that next move coming in that chart and boy i can just keep going um, um, there are so many stocks in this sector showing huge um, upside moves very strong um, and you typically would not see if the market was super super confident that everything was great you would not typically see defensive sector old boring dividend payers showing so much strength in the market so you'll want to keep that in mind let's take a look at uh, UUP the US dollar today this has been fluctuating back and forth pretty pretty violently um, over the last month just chopping in this range gapping up gapping down let's keep a close eye on this the CPI number can have an effect on the dollar whether it weakens or 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 strengthens just based on how the CPI number might feed into the next Fed meeting so kind of keep um, that in mind and if we um, uh, weaken in the dollar then I would be looking for gold and silver GLD which continues to move up SLV which continues to move up I would keep an eye on those um, they're hanging in there pretty strong particularly if that dollar weakens if the dollar strengthens then I would look for these to continue to pull back or consolidate and rest a little bit more because they have been quite elevated for some time if that dollar were to um, strengthen um, that being said um, I'm really enjoying my position here in PHYS, which is a physical physical gold position. So keep an eye on that. You could also look at PSLV for some physical silver if you have an interest in that. Um, let's also take a look at um, a few techs that are, man, oh man, uh, something really big happening here in AMD. We, we disappointed on earnings and gap lower. And then there was a story that came out that said AMD is collaborating with Microsoft on an AI, um, AI chips and the, that kind of thing. And man, we just went to the races here in AMD, zooming right back up. So one of my criterias for a bullish chart is we must first break the downtrend and then we need to put in a higher low. And the reason I that's important to me because I've seen so many times when I have rushed into this trade only to have that reverse on a disappointment come all the way back down. I need to see a proof of support, which, by the way, is the only way we can begin an upside trend um, by showing that proof of support. So watch that carefully. You can see that that same pattern right here. Break down, rally up, find support then we can move to the upside so that's what I'll be looking for here in AMD but I really like the strength of that chart um, Nvidia surprising to me that we are so elevated in, in Nvidia on the PE ratio but analysts continue to push this higher we've got a target up there around 350 from analysts it's holding in there nice and strong you can see this bullish break maybe a little rest in here we're a long ways away from this trend at the moment 
but I still wouldn't um, rule out the possibility we continue to rally toward those earnings. So watch NVIDIA closely. Um, could be interesting um, in that chart. Um, other places that you might look, take a look at um, some of the healthcare areas. Merck. Merck continues to set up here. Nice little resting pattern after breaking through resistance. Moving out to trend. Look for that next opportunity to the upside. And I think on Eli Lilly, you're going to have to wait for a while. Eli Lilly is just, uh, man, uh, it's hitting on all cylinders here. Just ripping to the upside. Um, resting here the last few days, I think it needs a substantial rest here before I would be interested in diving headlong into Eli Lilly, but watch that one close. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Be a little bit careful. Expect a pretty substantial move prior to the market open. Anything is possible, so be prepared for that. And um, I want to wish you great results in your trading. Have an awesome day, and we'll see you right back here, bright and early. Thursday morning. Take care, everyone.